Yo, welcome back to the channel, everybody. It is Manticore. Thanks for being here. You're in the Manticore's Tavern, and I have some more Master Duel replays for you guys using none other than heroes. We're going to go ahead and hop right into it, but before we go ahead and get started, I do want to remind you guys to make sure you like and subscribe, and also join the Pop One Podcast Hangout Discord server. A link to the server is in the description down below. Make sure you join if you want to hang out with a bunch of nerds such as myself. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. Now, here what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys three separate duels where i am showcasing the standard combo line that i do whenever i open you know obviously when i start my duel right so going first it's very optimal because then you're able to stop your opponent using dark angel or you're able to stop your opponent using um plasma however i primarily like to use dark angel because i think that it's a very spell heavy format compared to a monster combo heavy format so uh, going right into it we're obviously going to want Stratos, right? So we have Stratos. We want to make our opponent feel like we don't have the Stratos in our hand. So we're going to go ahead and try to bait out an Ash or something like that using E Emergency Call. He does not have it, so it gives me indication that I'm free to go ahead and go straight into my combos. And then again, now we are going now we have the Stratos in our hand. We can use that normal summon because Stratos is not once per turn. We're going to activate Hero Lives, pay the 4k, who cares? Get Stratos in the field. Activate Stratos effect. We're going to add Ferris. Almost always add Ferris if you have another hero in our hand. As you guys can see, we have two other Stratos in our hand plus the Ferris we just added. So we have plenty of discard fodder for Ferris's effect. We're going to go ahead and discard one of them. Special summon the Ferris. Ferris is going to resolve, get our increase in the spawn trap zone. Increase is going to tribute our Stratos. Now, you could argue tributing your Ferris. However, we have so many dark cards that we use in our deck and in our extra deck that we want to keep the darks on the field. So we go ahead and tribute the Stratos for that instead. Now we get our Vion. Vion's going to send Shadow Mist. There's no, other re there's no other card you should send with Vion at this point in the game whenever you're going through this specific kind of combo line because Shadow Mist is what's going to get us our Liquid Soldier that we're going to use for the Polymerization. Add the Liquid Soldier using Shadow Mist. Vion's going to banish one of our heroes that we don't need. Uh, I opted to keep the Shadow Mist because we already had two Stratos in the graveyard. So uh, we want to make sure we have as many different named heroes in our graveyard also in case we go into one of our Destiny Hero monsters that's in our extra deck that's stating that it gains attack or opponent loses attack or something like, like that based on how many different heroes we have in our graveyard. So rather than having just two Stratos in the graveyard, I want to go ahead and have one Shadow Mist and one Sh Stratos. Now we get the Polymerization using Vion's effect. Now we're going to link into Wonder Driver. Do not use Polymerization yet. Now once Wonder Driver is on the field, we can poly using the Liquid Soldier that we just added off of Shadow Mist and the monster that's on the field. Going into Sunrise and then activating our Chain Links. Going Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, Chain Link 3. Sometimes Master Duel wants it to be backwards, but that's fine. Uh, so then we're going to get our draw two and then we're going to send discard one. We don't need a hero lives because we have monsters in the field where I think that in, in my opinion, we're always going to have monsters in the field. I don't foresee our opponent doing anything that's going to prevent monsters from being on the field. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now we're going to go ahead and activate the Miracle Fusion because we have the Liquid Soldier in the graveyard. Go into Absolute Zero. Absolute Zero is a fantastic card to have in the back pocket in case all of our cards get destroyed for whatever reason. It'll destroy all monsters on their side of the field. Now we're going into Stratos, and then look what we also had in our hand that we didn't use yet. We have Fusion Destiny. So now we're going to go into Fusion Destiny, going into the ever so famous DPE. And now we're going into furthering our combos by going into Cross Crusader. Cross Crusader is going to Special Summon the Malicious. And then we're going to tribute the Malicious because we're going to add a hero to our hand. Now we're going to add the Dark Angel. I chose to add Dark Angel because I want to use the Destiny Draw to discard the other Dark Angel so we can get a plus two. Now we're going to have a better hand. Not so better because we drew into two more Destiny Draws, but Destiny Draws not once per turn, so that's fine. We're going to banish the Destiny, uh, the Malicious that's in the graveyard. The special summon another malicious, and then we're going to go into Dread Decimator. At this point, we're going to special summon the, the Denier, activating its effect. We're going to shuffle the malicious. It's basically like having three malicious in your deck. You're going to have the Denier that's going to special summon. You can recursively use it by putting that banished malicious back into your deck and then keeping one in your graveyard so you can keep doing it over and over and over again. The only thing is that you can't keep using Denier's effect to special summon itself from the graveyard, but you have other cards like Cross Crusader. Now, 
we have that other malicious in the graveyard we still have the polymerization set we're still gonna go off dude we are still going off now going into dystopia we go into dystopia because dystopia is also a quick effect pop card because its effect or its attack is different than its original attack now look at the monsters we have in the field we have a 43 a 4000 4000 4000 um 3100 like it's just nutty and then we put the de the uh <laughs> dark angel up on the side of the field and they can't do anything now one thing i do want to point out is that it might be a smarter idea to go ahead and put all your monsters in defense position as you're summoning them putting them in defense position because all your opponent has to do is change that dark angel to attack mode take a 4000 attack or take take 4000 life points or whatever attack the weakest one doesn't matter and then dark angel's gone and they're free to activate their spell cards but again remember we also had the uh the sunrise effect to pop we had dpe's effect to pop we had dystopia's effect to pop we had absolute zero's effect to destroy all monsters upon side of the field if it leaves the field it is just absolutely nutty now in this opening hand we had two e calls we're gonna go ahead and add the stratos get the ferris we have another stratos in our hand so we're gonna activate the ferris to special summon it standard combo stuff guys now ferris is gonna put increase in the field increase get rid of stratos we're gonna go ahead and special summon it increase is gonna special summon vion vion's going to send shadow mist Standard, standard, standard. Shadow Mist will add Liquid Soldier. Now we're going to banish that. Add a Polymerization at this point, but our opponent has the Ash. But guess what I have? I have the Called by the Grave. Fantastic card. I would not suggest playing Heroes without Called by the Grave in your hand. Yes, the chances of drawing into one of the two is very unlikely. But when you do have that, you have it when you actually need it. And it's absolutely nutty. So now we're going to get our poly to uh, go, come to our hand. We're going to link into Wonder Driver. Always link into Wonder Driver before activating polymerization. Now, I don't want to use this increase that's on the field. I like, if I can, I like to keep a monster on the field rather than using polymerization, using a monster on the field and Liquid Soldier in our hand. I would rather activate polymerization using the two in my hand. And I don't do that for some reason because I'm dumb. Anyways, I think, I don't think I've normal summoned yet, have I? I have normal summon, so uh, the Stratos is in my hand. I must have had a different plan whenever I was doing this. There's there's a reason to the madness, guys. So now, we're, like I said, chain link one, chain link two, chain link three. Uh, like I said, you also could have kept the increase in the field and used the Stratos and Liquid Soldier in your hand. Go for different combos, but I must have been thinking something different that I'm not foreseeing as I'm competing on my duel right now. So now we're going to go ahead and get the polymerization. We're going to activate the Miracle Fusion, go into our Absolute Zero, and then Absolute Zero. Well, I almost always summon it on the right side. And again, guys, like I said earlier, it's might, it might be a good idea to put these in defense position because then the Dark Angel or something to your opponent's side of the field will not be able to attack or anything like that. But I think I might have done that because I didn't see anything going forward for me to be able to put a Dark Angel on the field or anything like that. I think I just added the Stratos for follow-up the next turn because I foresaw that my turn was not going to be as heavy as other turns that I've been playing. Um, this is going to be the last one guys uh, again very standard almost always getting the shadow mist always getting the liquid soldier to our hand always going into wonder driver polymerization sunrise and then doing the chain link uh, one through three it's very very easy very streamlined obviously the deck is kind of linear but it's also not linear at the same time because you have so many different options but i think that this is the best combo to go with right so now we have all the heroes in our hand that we could possibly want we have the malicious in our hand we don't let the see malicious in our hand we want to see it in the graveyard and in the deck so i go ahead and get rid of that we get the increase increase tribute to stratos increase special summon vion vion sends shadow mist Shadow Mist add Liquid Soldier. I mean, I've said this two times now. This is my third time. It's a very, very easy, streamlined, linear combo. Banish Shadow Mist, add Polymerization. And now we're going to Link. And I have I, I have freedom here. Like, I have so many different options of what I want to go into. Uh, but it, I, we'll, we'll, we'll see here. You know, so going into the Polymerization, we're going to use a two in our hand. Again, like I said, I have two other heroes in my hand. I have one on the field. I want it, and I have so many different options here. I want to use what's in my hand rather than facilitating what's on the field because then I can use what's on the field to link summon further later on. Now, again, we're going into the chain link one, chain link two, chain link three combo. And then we're going to add more cards to our hand. It's Guys, this is just absolutely nutty. And then on top of that, remember, we also do want to make sure that we have uh, three Destiny Heroes in the graveyard. So as you're doing this, making sure, make sure you are thinking ahead to get three Destiny Hero cards in your graveyard in order to get the Dark Angel to your opponent's side of the field. Now we're banishing the Malicious, Special Summoning Malicious. We're going into the Cross Crusader. At this point, we're also going to Special Summon the Denier. 
Now deniers go on to activate and we're going to put the malicious that we just banished to summon the other malicious back into the deck. And now we're tributing this to add plasma to our hand. We already have the dark angel. We're going to destiny draw, sending the decider. We're gonna, look, guys, I'm just drawing so much draw power, so much stuff that we can do. We're going to rota, get into the diamond dude. We have miracle fusion. Now we're going to go into the absolute zero at this point. Guys, this, this deck is just... There's, it just has so much gas that your opponent will not be able to stop. I've played through two, three hand traps very easily with this deck. Lots of people think, oh, just one ash stops the deck. It does not. And here we are going into DPE. Again, like I've said in the previous battles or previous duels, it's a very good idea to put your cards in defense position. Uh, here you see me putting ash uh, or putting my DPE and my sunrise in the field. And this is a uh, this is a misplay I want you guys to pay attention to. This is something I did on purpose for this specific video. Whenever Plasma is on the field, it negates the Dark Angel on your opponent's side of the field. Whenever I was a noob playing this deck, I summoned Plasma because Plasma is a fantastic card. It stops monster effects on the field. But it stops the Dark Angel on your opponent's side of the field. So look, I'm going to special summon it to their side of the field. Now, while because Plasma is on the field, they can activate spells as much as they want because Dark Angel will be negated. Look, see he activated uh, Harpy's Feather Duster. The Dark Angel is negated so because I have Plasma on the field. Pay attention to that. Again, if you're going to commit to Plasma, commit to Plasma and ignore Dark Angel. If you're going to commit to Dark Angel, commit to it and ignore the Plasma. Do not go for both because you will screw yourself up. And here he is, still going off with spells. Obviously, as you guys can see, the Plasma on the field would be a good idea. And I'm going to go ahead and I see that and I want to stop that. So I go ahead and stop my... Uh, plasma from being on the field to use the Dark Angel. The Dark Angel is now the only spell left on the field. He thinks, okay, now I can keep playing spells because he just played three. He's got the Neos Fusion. Now Dark Angel is going to negate that. And now at that point, he's like, okay, what else can I do? So that misplay, make sure you guys pay attention to that. Do not ever have Plasma and Dark Angel on the field at the same time. Going into the deck list, I'm showing you guys the deck list. The deck list has not changed. I do intend to change it a little bit here very soon. And I will show you guys in future deck lists and deck profiles and replay videos what they are going, what it's going to be. But here it is, guys. Deck profile for you guys for this hero deck. We got three Dark Angels, the MVP, three Maxis, one Increase. Uh, you could argue two for that. We have three Ash Blossoms. We have the one single Denier, one single Diamond Dude. We have three Stratos, two Vion, you can argue three. One Shadow Mist, you could argue two there. We have one Decider, one Liquid Soldier, two Ferris, you could argue three there. We have two Malicious, you cannot argue one. If you're trying to play this deck with one Malicious, you are not playing Heroes. Do not play it with one, play it with two. If we could play with three, we would play with three, but we're, all we can play with is two, so it's fine. Plasma, again, this is a deck that has to commit to plasma or commit to dark angel don't ever commit to both make sure you know what your opponent's playing one way you can figure out what to do is to actually activate dominance effect when you activate dominance effect you stack the top five cards of your opponent's deck look at the cards that they are, that you see and make your assessment from there if you see that they're playing a spell heavy deck make sure you commit to dark angel if you see at that point that they're playing a combo heavy deck using monsters go into plasma dominance is a fantastic card in order to gain intelligence to know what you want to end your board with we have polymerization we have the rota we have miracle fusion we have two e calls you could argue three here if you would like we have three destiny draws because we have a lot of destiny heroes and i like to see this card we have three a hero lives because it gives us st a starter we have two Fusion Destinies, do not play one. Fusion Destiny is a hero card and we are playing a hero deck. Play as many as you can. If this ever comes back to three, we are playing three. We have three Mass Change, we have two Called By and then now for the extra deck. We have the two Dark Law because double Dark Law is hard to beat. We have the one Mass Hero Blast. We have the one Dangerous, Sunrise, Absolute Zero, Escrito. Dystopia, this is a quick effect pop if its attack is different from its original attack, which is always going to happen while Sunrise is on the field. We have DPE, we have Dominance. This is the card I was talking about earlier where you can uh, look at the top five cards of your deck or your opponent's deck. You can look at the top five cards of your deck and stack them, but uh, this, in my opinion, there's no point in doing that. Gain the intelligence th from your opponent and go from there. Uh, and then we have the Wonder Driver to get our polys back. We have the Cross Crusaders because Cross Crusader can also bring back your Dominance and your DPE. 
that's nutty and then we also have anaconda and dread decimator because dread decimator is there to buff our monsters for otks but there you guys have it there is my hero standard combo deck profile i showed you guys a guide on how to do it it's almost always the same obviously if you are being interacted with ash blossom or uh what is it freaking uh max c or something like that you have to play around that and make different lines of combo however this is the standard combo that i go with and it almost always ends with the dark angel opponent side of the field or our uh plasma on our side of the field again also make sure you guys are putting them in defense position if you want to do that it's very smart to do that because then your opponent will not be able to just change that dark angel to attack position and just suicide itself to get off the field in order to continue using spells at that point uh you might argue you might be considering the link monster at that point remember you have dpe on the field you have sunrise in the field if an attack is declared involving another hero monster if they attack that link monster use sunrise effect pop that link sacrifice it now all you have are defense position monsters and your opponent cannot suicide their dark angel so just think about what you guys are doing look forward to playing certain types of cards based on what your opponent is playing and then go from there i love you guys thank you guys for being here don't forget to like and subscribe catch you guys in the next video adios peace